Hi Willow Class, so our final skill of the week is to be able to find change. Now when we're thinking of change, we're always thinking about the difference between how much something costs and how much you pay for it. And usually, if people go into a shop and spend their money, they will end up having maybe a pound coin or a five pound note or an amount that's slightly bigger than the amount that it costs. So you need to work out how much change you would get back from the shop uh, from the shopkeeper so that you only pay the amount that you need to for the item. Now we've focused it just on a pound for today because I wanted it to help you practice your number bonds to a hundred and working out the difference. So let's have a look at some of these items then. If I went into the shop and bought an apple for 50 pence, however, I only had a pound, I'm looking at how much more I need to get from my 50p to one pound or 100 pence. So if I know that 50 add 50 makes 100 or one pound, I know I'm going to need 50p to get to my pound. I could turn it the other way. And if I had one pound, took away the cost of the apple, which would be 50p, I would end up with 50p change. You could always break that down into tens if it helped. So 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. Okay. This time I'm going to buy my banana. So again, I'm looking for the difference. So a banana costs 25 pence. Now, if I add five, because I know five and five makes 10, that would take me to 30 pence. Then I know I need to add 70 pence because three and seven make 10, therefore 30 and 70 make 100. To get to my 100 pence or my pound. So how much change would I get? I've got my five pence here and I've got my 70 pence, so add them together, would be 75 pence. So from my banana, I would get 75 pence change. From my apple, I would get 50 pence change. So see if you can play the game Mythopoly, which I've added to the um, activity. There's a board, there's some cards, and I think there's a score sheet attached there. And maybe with an adult at home, you could practice playing the game and within that you may need to work out some change but hopefully it'll be a nice fun way to finish the week again you can always play the game more than once you can play it another time next week or during lockdown just to help you practice this skill even more have fun playing with it i hope you have a fantastic weekend and i will hopefully see you on the zoom soon